Hi everyone, it is Elmer, and in this video I'm just going to be showing all of the locomotives and some of the rolling stock that we just have not shown on the channel yet. First thing is this Canadian National F unit. This locomotive is a Walther's Proto 1000. It is extremely quiet and smooth. And it also has directional lighting. It does not have a rear tail light, but what just when driving in reverse, the front headlight shuts off. This locomotive is fairly quiet and extremely smooth that is, as it is basically brand new running in a very low power setting. And if you speed it up, that is its top speed, pretty decent. It also has um, dual flywheels, so when you stop it, it doesn't just stop, it coasts for a second. And it is also extremely weighted because it has a die cast middle frame. We have this Bachmann Burlington Northern F unit. This is a very old locomotive that we just got at a train show a couple of years ago. It doesn't have a very large amount of pulling capacity, but it still runs reasonably nice. Even at a fairly low power setting as well. That is full power. This locomotive being very old um, is only... Um, two axle drive, like just the rear trucks drive it, so it does not have very much pulling capacity. Next we have this, another CNF unit. This one also being a very old Bachmann locomotive. Although this one was a gift from one of our mom's relatives a couple, quite a few years ago. It's only the rear two axles drive and it doesn't have a terribly um, large amount of weight, so it can't pull very well, but it still runs fairly smoothly. Like this is only about half power right here. And that is full speed. Next we have this um, Via Rail CNF unit. We have quite a few, but this is going to be the last one that I'm showing. That's F units. This one, it has two of its wheels on the bottom are cracked but we cannot replace them as we do not have replacement axles and we have not ha um, shown it running on the channel. We showed it in a video and showed the cracks in it a while ago, but we never showed it run. And it actually runs really well. That's full power. But if you just turn it down to a fairly low power setting, but give it like a bit of throttle, like about there, it runs really well. Next we have this Via Rail Home Hardware Dummy Locomotive. This locomotive, it's missing its truck covers on the back and it has a motor in it, or it has the shell of the motor, but all the guts out of it have been completely stripped. So this one's just a, just a dummy, and it also only has a front hitch. It doesn't have a mount or anything for a rear facing hitch. Next, we have our newest locomotive that we that we own, which is also the newest to our collection. This is a Walther's Train Line GP15-1. I got this as a Christmas gift in 2021, and it runs really well. This locomotive got a little bit of glory in um, the video where I showed all of the new rolling stock, as you can see here, that we got from the train show a couple of weeks ago. And that's the power setting I have it on. If I speed it up all the way. So 
So there's that one. This locomotive, it does not have a super large amount of weight to it. So it doesn't pull a whole lot, but it runs really nicely. It can still pull a decent train. Next we have this Bachman four bay grain car. We got this at our um, local hobby store, probably about two or three months ago. It has knuckle couplers, or it has plastic knuckle couplers and metal axles and wheels and rolls super nicely. And I think it looks pretty decently as well. And if you follow me on TikTok, you will have seen this grain car and lots of the locomotives and rolling stock that I'm showing in this video already. There is this three bay Chicago Northwestern hopper. This has knuckle couplers. The metal wheel sets are not plastic. And this is just our dad that he just had sitting on his workbench over there that he's just letting us use. So this one does not belong to us. It is our dad's, as is this Rio Grande car. Next, we have these five Santa Fe passenger cars. As you can see, these three are on the rails and they are equipped with lights. This middle one has a light too. There it goes. And then these two here, this one is just a shell. And then this one doesn't have any axles in it. It just has the shell and then the um, piece on the bottom, the bottom part that the wheel attached to. Next is this Santa Fe rail crane that we got probably about two years ago at a swap meet. This thing has knuckle couplers and plastic wheel sets, and it works pretty good. We like it, and it's nice to put on the end of trains. Oops, derailed there. And we have these two Via Rail passenger coaches. These were a gift from our mom's relative a couple of years ago, and we like to pull them behind the Via Rail F unit that I showed earlier in the video. Lastly, we have these two Pennsylvania passenger coaches. These do not have hitches on them right now, or this one has one hitch, because we do not use them to actually go on trains. And that's because as soon as you put them on a train, or even just roll them around, they derail extremely frequently. This one especially, because they are dead light. They have absolutely zero weight to them, and so... We're thinking that is likely why, because if you push down on them somewhat, they don't derail. But as soon as you put them on a train, they'll derail like every lap or two. Originally got them to go behind this 040 Pennsylvania steam locomotive. Well, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video and seeing all of the locomotives and some of the most notable rolling stock that have not been shown yet on this channel. As usual, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next one. Also, these um, two pieces right here are not ours. They're our dad's. He just likes to put them on our board. But anyway, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching.